Hello everyone. This video will be about Game Boy Advance emulator for your Android phone. A while back I didn't know, I didn't think I could download a Game Boy Advance emulator to my phone or my Chrome, but I was able to download the emulator to my Chromebook, laptop, and this Android phone. It's wonderful because you can play any Game Boy Advance game you can think of on your phone. Or if you have a Chromebook, also your Chromebook. This, one, this video will be specifically though about my Android phone. So if, if you want to download it, just go to your Google Play Store. I believe you just type in emulator or you can type in GBA. Let me type in GBA real quick. GBA. GBA stands for Game Boy Advance. And so there's a lot of different free Game Boy Advance emulators. But the one you want to download that I like a lot is this one right here, My Boy Free. I tried this emulator for GBA on top. It was okay, but there were some laggy issues. Ultimately, I preferred this one right here. Now, there's uh, you can buy an emulator for $5. The difference is if you want to use cheat codes from GameShark, you need to buy the, fr uh, the paid one, $5. I don't really care about cheats, so I'm just going to play the uh, free version, which I have right here. What you want to do is use the emulator with the Wi-Fi turned off because I found that it works better when Wi-Fi is off. I also turn off data, so I'm not sure if that helps, but I always have my data off. But you can. what's great about the Game Boy Advance emulator is that you can play it without being in a Wi-Fi area. You can also play it horizontally or vertically. I'm going to play it horizontally just because it's a bigger screen. And here are all the games I downloaded thus far. Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, Pokemon Emerald, Zatchabelle, Pokemon Fire Red Version, which I just beat, and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Again, to download any emulator, all you, do have, to, all you have to do is go to your uh, internet and just type in the Game Boy Advance name. And basically, you uh, once you type in the name, you can download the link from a certain link. So for example, let's say if I want to type in Pokemon... Ruby emulator just type in Pokemon Ruby and then just put emulator E M U L A T O R So again type in Pokemon Ruby emulator for example oops the Wi-Fi is off I forgot I just turned it off so let me just turn it on real quick So again, type in the name of the Game Boy Advance game that you want to play on your emulator. Type it into Google or anything. Hold on. So again, here are different. There's different websites you can download the emulator for. I always prefer this one right here called muparadise.com. I guess this is, I think, a, a good one. It's trusted. I've already downloaded five games to it, and they all work fine. No lag or any such thing. The sound works good. It's a full screen as well, so that's good. It takes it takes up your entire phone if you're using it horizontally. But if you're using it vertically, it won't it will only take like half the screen. But let's try one for example for a test. Let's try Pokemon Emerald no, let's type Pokemon Fire Red. Let me make sure the sound is up. Again, it works just like if you were to play on your Game Boy Advance. If you still have a Game Boy Advance. This is wonderful because you don't have to buy Game Boy Advance to play these games anymore. You can just download it. And the best thing is, this doesn't even take much megabytes. It only took um, a few for me. And this phone doesn't have a lot of megabytes to begin with. Look, I already spent 53 hours on this game and beat the Elite Four twice. So, yeah, t it works really fine. This is what I last did. Now, this particular um, emulator makes the screen ma makes the game pretty fast. See, it works just fine. I'll show you more of it just for a test run. It works wonderfully. The sound is great. Every button works wonderful too. Let's try Bubble Beam. 
Level 73 Suicune. Lovely Pokemon. But yeah, you can see that this is what it looks like. You have your A button here. You have your B button. And like the Game Boy Advance, you have your, select, or your Start and your Select button. Here are the control pads. You have right, up, left, down. And then here's the L button and here's the R button. For like your clicks, your clickers on the top of the Game Boy Advance. But yeah, all this is touch screen, so no buttons needed. See here how you move left, uh, left, right, up. And now, you're also given options. Remember, this is the free version, so you can do all this through the free version. So for example, I can actually fast forward to make the game even faster, so watch this. Hold on, let's see. Here's the sound, it's like moving like a chipmunk speed. So when I move, everything is fast forward. See, I can move extra fast. <laughs> Everything is fast forward. But you can do this if you want to um, beat the game very fast. See, everything is so fast. But yeah. Let's go back to normal speed. So again, it works just like if you were to play on the Game Boy Advance. Everything works fine. You can save it too down there. But I don't need to save. So again, that works wonderfully. Doesn't take me any megabytes at all. Oops. So you can just log out of that game. So clear all. And then just go back to this. I'll show you what it looks like uh, um, vertically. Let's try Zatch Bell. No, no. Let's just try Mario and Luigi. Again, you can play it up right like this see how all this is black and then this top is the screen this is if you want to play it vertically and here's the R and the L again it works fine but see how the screen is really tiny if you want the screen to take the whole cell phone just turn it to its side and there you go again this works just like if you're to buy and play on the Game Boy Advance I think this is the end of the video. Again, I, I would rate this emulator. Well, it doesn't. You can't have cheats. It, the cheats don't work unless you buy the uh, the paid version. But again, I'm not using the paid version. So basically, I'd probably give this maybe a 4.9 out of 5 stars. If only this the free versions had cheats like Game Shark cheats, then it would be a perfect score of 5.5. But it doesn't. You have to buy it. The only downside. So yeah. If you have any comments, if I didn't say something that you had, that you have in mind, just leave in the comments. I'll answer it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.